quick. Graph y equals 2 times the square root of the quantity 25 minus x squared minus 3 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. First decide what the parent function is and its shape. So this is y equals the square root of the quantity 25 minus x squared which is a semicircle. We need to identify the parameters. These are values in the expression that affect the graph. And in this case, there are three different parameters. And how do they affect the graph? Well, starting with the 25, that's equal to r squared. Taking the square root then, the radius then is 5. The minus 3 outside the function shifts all points down 3 including the center, which is now going to be at 0, negative 3. So let's go ahead and plot that because we're going to plot points relative to that center. The 2 in front of the radical sign doubles each y value. And we're going to use the radius to plot points. So I'm going to go to the right 5 units and plot a point there. Go to the left 5 units, plot a point there because it's not affected by that double. However, the last so-called radius point goes up in the y direction, so I do need to double that one. So instead of the radius being at 5, it's going to be 5 times 2, which is 10, and that's up 10 from the center. And I'll plot a point there. We need to connect the points, but not as a semicircle, more as a semicircle-looking curve. It's like an archway. And we compare that to the semicircle parent function. Second way, using a table. Here are three points that are normally on the semicircle. None of the parameters affect the x values, so we'll use the same exact x values. We have to double the y values, and we have to subtract 3 from each y value. By the order of operations, we multiply first and then subtract. So we're going to multiply by 2, then subtract 3. And 0 times 2 minus 3 will be negative 3. And the calculation is shown over here. 5 times 2 is 10 minus 3 is 7. 0, 7. And 0 times 2 is 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So negative 5, negative 3. Connect the points like a semi-circle looking curve, not a, more like an archway. And we compare that to the parent function, which is a true semi-circle. Now you try one, graph y equals 3 times the square root of the quantity 4 minus x squared plus 1. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here's your answer in green, another archway. And we also include uh, a table of some values to check.